Hi, I'm Nick. I'm going to be running you through a quick comparison of the new Anachrony Cryobot for the new expansion printing. So here we go, let's have a look. This was the old board for the Cryobot, you can see, um, and the new board, which has not been graphically designed yet, but this is the idea of what it's going to look like. So what has happened here? What's the differences? Let's compare them, shall we? So you'll see that the water space here has gone completely, and the super project space has moved up to the top. You can see it's now up here on this top loop. There are only two loops, this loop up here for the number three and the 245 loop here. The other thing you'll notice is that there is no one and six anymore. That's because we'll be using the flux die, which is this new die which comes in the expansion, to roll for the bots actions. So all of these actions apart from the water spots are in the new board. The water has gone completely, so there's also no morale track but you'll see that it's fairly similar in that the uh, the tokens will just move along, they'll start with a note and they'll go round and round. Uh, this dotted line here is for a harder version. Uh, we have a new spot called Reboot, which simply is that the bot does no action, it simulates the player doing something on their player board. The other change you'll notice here is that in the old version we've got up to two super projects that the bot can build. In this one it can build up to three. And then we have the normal three of each type of lab there with anomalies, we have the uh, workers, we have the resources, and then we have the time to travel track at the top there. Um, what else is new? This one here um, is slightly different. This one will recruit a genius. So I'll come here to recruit a genius from the genius spot. If there's no genius available, it will do a research action instead. And that is pretty much all the changes there. The reason these changes are here is to try and balance out the randomness that was inherent in the original Chronobot. It did work fine, but you could have games where you would, the bot would score very low or it would score very high. So this has ironed those issues out and made it much more balanced. And now on to the new Chronosus Chronobot, which is the more improved version. This is also going to be in the expansion, uh, which you can play with the base game, but this one will also support the expansions as well. So this board is a little more complicated. You can see there are a number of loops going on. Uh, we still have the anomalies and the workers and the resources and the time travel track. We still have the buildings at the bottom here. But you'll notice that we now have, and I've colour coded them for you in this prototype, um, a number of tracks. We have a four track, which is the blue one going around here. We have the two track, which is the red one, which goes around like this. And we have the uh, five track, which is green, which is going around like this. And we have the top here the three track, which is on its own and just goes around in a loop. Now, most of the actions are exactly the same as the improved Chronobot. Uh, for example, the result, uh, Recruit Genius Else Research is there. Um, but you'll notice that there are some of these question mark icons. Now, these are unique tiles that will be able to be slotted in and moved around to vary up the game. And also, uh, there will be uh, tiles specifically for the expansions to allow us to mix things up a bit. So what you do at the beginning of the game is you randomly choose the three tiles. Uh, you choose the three tiles from the game that you want to play. For example, just the base tiles. Uh, you random, randomise them up, put them on here, and they will be double-sided. So one side will be harder than the other. Pop them on, and then they will affect which actions happen. So here's an example of placing some tiles in. Here are the tiles for the base game. Um, so you would just choose a position to put them in. There will be a recommended position for the easiest mode and the hardest mode, etc. But you can just randomise them. Um, so we have simply uh, one um, energy core, two VP, and a reboot is simply a skipping a turn for the bot. It doesn't do anything on that turn. Uh, there will be an alternative side, which makes it slightly more difficult. So it'll give you, it gives it a bit more to do, more of a challenge. And then these tiles can be swapped in for the other modules, for the other expansions. So for example, there's four the Fractures of Time expansion. So that's my overview of the differences for the new Chronobot. Uh, thanks for watching.